for the fifth time in just two months. A Connecticut student brought a weapon into a school. In fact, two incidents happened just yesterday in Hamden. Two students were charged after a stun gun was brought to the high school. As Pinpoint News Tracker shows us, today we're learning about an incident at a school in Granby. And for more on that, we want to head to Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. He is live at Wells Road Intermediate School with more for us right now. Dylan? Hey, good evening, guys. Third, fourth, and fifth graders attend this school behind me. Yesterday, we're told a fifth grader walked into the school with a knife and started showing it to several classmates. Now, we're told school officials took care of this incident very quickly, but parents are still concerned. This map shows the last five reported incidents where a student brought a weapon to school, all in the last two months. The latest happened here in Granby. A fifth grader brought a knife inside this school and showed it to a few classmates before school officials realized. Granby Superintendent Jordan Grossman today says the student had no ill intentions and no student was ever at risk. This student made a terrible mistake by bringing this item onto school grounds. The other alleged incidents may be more than just a terrible mistake. Yesterday morning in Hamden, a school resource officer broke up a fight between two girls and found a stun gun resembling a cell phone. No one was injured, and both girls are facing charges. On Monday in Manchester, a 16-year-old allegedly brought a loaded gun to school and was arrested. Last week in Meriden, a middle schooler allegedly brought a gun to school and has been charged. And in East Granby in early December, a student brought two guns to an elementary school. With five incidents in two months, parents and teachers are extremely concerned. Making sure that we're having conversations with our kids about if you see something, say something, um, being transparent with them about, you know, incidents like this and what the, you know, what the repercussions are and the seriousness of it. Our teachers are very concerned about this safety in schools. We have educators who are reflecting on, well, what are the risks I'm taking? Um, am I compensated to take those risks? And um, is it even acknowledged that I'm taking those risks? Now, we did speak to some other parents a little earlier on the pickup line at the end of the school. They said they're extremely concerned. They thought the school handled it very well, and they're just telling their children if they do see, see something, excuse me, they do see something, to say something and report it to school officials immediately. Much more coming up at 6 o'clock. We're live in Granby. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Guys. Dylan.